Good evening, South Mississippi. I'm Dave Elliott here in the WLOX studios. Right now, we are following breaking news. Spring break weekend ending with gunfire. Shots flying just after 6 o'clock along Highway 90. At least four people injured from what we've been told so far. One of those victims confirmed now to be a Biloxi police officer. Just into our newsroom, we're getting video from right after the shots were fired. Now we have to warn you, it is graphic. You can see right here the injured officer with a bullet wound to the arm right there. Uh, also, he's standing and walking under his own power. We've confirmed the gunshot is non life threatening and the officer will be OK. No word yet, even though we're getting new information by the minute on the condition of the other victims uh, involved. And we can also tell you there have been no arrests. Noah Noble was there live on our 530 newscast right down the block from the scene when those shots rang out doing what we thought would be your basic traffic report. And it was just moments before those shots were fired. And Noah joins us right now live to get us up to speed on the very latest. Noah. Yeah, good evening, Dave. Like you're saying, those shots happening literally minutes after we went off the air. We're right here on Highway 90 in front of Surf Style uh, to bring folks up to speed. What happened about 533? Jacoby Rivers and I were out here. We're putting up the equipment. We heard about five gunshots uh, right in front of the Motel 6 here. Uh, within 30 seconds later, we heard another round of gunshots happen just in front of Surf Style. Uh, we saw the officer um, who was shot being escorted by a couple of other officers. He was put into a marked unit right here in front of us and sped off to, uh, east down Highway 90. Uh, a large crowd moving. We immediately saw officers and EMS gathering about somebody on the ground. Uh, we just spoke with uh, Cecilia Dobbs with City of Gulfport, or excuse me, City of Biloxi. They're getting an update from police and they should be giving us a statement here in a minute. Uh, Dave, I gotta tell you, this is the most law enforcement I have ever seen on a scene. Uh, Biloxi Police, obviously, Gulfport PD, Harrison County Sheriff, Ocean Springs. They have uh, U.S. Marshals out here along with the Highway Patrol. There are agencies from all over the place coming right here. Uh, we just saw some officers combing surf styles parking lot. They have a metal detector out right now looking for those shell casings. We had a detective actually walk up to us asking if we had our camera rolling uh, during the shooting. Unfortunately, we did not. Uh, we were talking to some of the vendors. Um, unfortunately, nobody's really said anything. We've heard some bolos go out, uh, but so far no official comment yet. Uh, as far as what has happened, we did see two people getting into stretchers, taking into an ambulance, and they went uh, down the road there. Uh, we're going to be here for the rest of the night talking with people. Um, I think we're about to speak with the city of Biloxi to get an update uh, to let you know exactly uh, what is going on right now. Live in Biloxi, Noah Noble, WLOX News Now. Now remember, this is an uh, active crime scene basically all along Highway 90. This is a live look right now on DeBees Road. We're still seeing severe traffic backups. Uh, roads from Highway 90, I-110 all the way to uh, Cowan Lorraine in Gulfport moving to the west driving in tonight. I was rerouted. A lot of people have been into neighborhoods, so uh, be very careful. The traffic is going to be a story here while this continues to be investigated. Police are clearing the shooting scene. Keep in mind it's been more than an hour now. We are expecting the traffic to clear up and probably in the next hour or so, but one never knows because as we said, the situation is very fluid right now. Uh, you may recall uh, that shooting last night about in that same spot in West Biloxi where a Louisiana man was arrested after that shooting in Biloxi. Uh, uh, when police arrived on the scene, a man was found suffering from multiple gunshot wounds later taken to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. This was at surf style tonight. That incident was on Briarfield Avenue in that uh, same proximity uh, last night. We're learning an ambulance was able to get the officer to Memorial Hospital for treatment. Uh, Lauren Martinez is there live uh, to get us uh, kind of uh, on the same page with how that part of this story is developing. Lauren. Thanks, Dave. Since I've been out here, I would say maybe approximately an hour, I've seen maybe one or two cop cars come up from Gulfport PD. I've also seen several ambulances, although I cannot confirm 
which ones are affiliated with the incident and which ones are. What I can confirm is that AMR, AMR excuse me, has transported one officer here at this location. Um, we were also told that the officer's injuries are non-threatening. And I'm just going to repeat that again. His injuries are non-threatening. Um, there were also three other individuals that were involved, um, but we do not know the status of their injuries. Um, and we also learned by AMR that they have taken one other victim to Merritt Hospital in Biloxi. Um, it's just a sad incident all the way around. Again, I've just been seeing um, heavy police presence around here. They've just been kind of stationed in the area. Um, not too much, not too much happening here right now, but I will provide more updates as I learn more information. Live in Gulfport, sending it back to you in the studio. Okay, thank you so much, Lauren. Uh, we understand that there, it's likely that a Biloxi police officer did not fire a weapon because this entire investigation is being conducted by Biloxi police, and if an officer with uh, BPD had fired a weapon, uh, they would be investigated by the Mississippi Bureau of Investigation, MBI. So again, we're trying to put together the pieces of this story. Uh, it began shortly after 5.30 down a surf style, West Biloxi, shots ring out, police officer wounded, three others along with the officer taken to Memorial. We just heard from Lauren that someone else who was injured was then taken to Merritt Hospital in Biloxi. You really need to be aware because uh, the traffic on Highway 90, police are out. That police presence is in full force all the way from I-110 to the east and I saw to Cowan Lorraine Road in Gulfport as traffic is being moved to the north into some of the neighborhoods. We saw that shot on DeBees Road and we're looking down Highway 90 right now. I mean, you, it's a sea of blue lights. Uh, traffic is uh, again uh, being uh, sent up into the, some of the neighborhoods and some of the other areas past road is likely uh, rather congested right now would be my take on that. So uh, I would avoid getting out on Highway 90 if possible. Looking down uh, just along the Mississippi coast at some of the early evening traffic. We do have our crews out. We are covering this story from uh, every angle and we will have more details for you. We'll break into our regularly scheduled programming if necessary. And of course, we'll have complete coverage of this breaking story coming up tonight on the News at 10. I'm Dave Elliott, and you can always go to WLOX.com to get the very latest information.